Howdy folks! Today we're going to be customizing the Luigi Amiibo. This is part one of the series where we're going to do the sculpting on this Amiibo and part two is going to be where we paint it up. So uh, be sure to keep your eyes peeled for that video. Anyways, before we start, you'll notice that I masked off the base of Luigi. Uh, there's going to be a lot of water involved uh, in terms of the sculpting as well as the painting. So we don't want to damage the electronics inside the base. Um, so we're just going to protect our investment with that. Now we're going to be using Needleite, aka green stuff, um, for the sculpting process. Uh, it's a two-part mixture of blue and yellow, and uh, today I'm going to be using equal parts in my mix, because uh, it gives me a decent working time and it holds uh, holds details pretty well. Remember to keep your hands and all your tools wet when you're working and mixing this product so it doesn't stick to the surfaces. Water will keep the product smooth as well and keep any fingerprints from sticking to the surface, so when you uh, initially apply it, you'll have a nice smooth sculpting kind of ears and tail on it. Now once the needle light's mixed, I'm going to pull it into two equal sized balls. These will be the ears. I'm then shaping them into rounded off pyramids and applying them to Luigi's hat, making sure that the shape and the position kind of matches on both sides. Again, I cannot stress enough the liberal use of water to keep the surfaces smooth and to keep it from sticking to your fingers and instead sticking actually to the hat where you want it. Now I'm going to take my sculpting tool and I'm going to cover it in water to keep it lubricated and I'm going to indent the ear shape into it. It'll take a little bit of doing to get the shape quite right, um, but you have a good amount of working time uh, with the green stuff to, to, to get it there. So just keep working at it until you've got it to a point where it looks pretty much like these ears. Next up we're going to mix some more green stuff for the tail. I'm sculpting the tail with a bit of a bend in the middle so I'm actually going to apply it to the back of Luigi and I'm going to use my tool to pull it up in the middle so it looks more natural and it actually looks like a tail. Uh, I don't want it sticking close to the legs because it just it doesn't look quite right. Um, and again use a wet uh, sculpting tool as well as wet fingers in order to get that that smooth um, finish on the tail and uh, get it ready for painting. And there you have it. The sculpting is done. We're going to let the green stuff cure for a full 48 hours, if not longer. Uh, with the thickness of the tail, you want to make sure it's well cured and uh, and you know, 48 hours is the minimum amount of time it'll take to, to make sure you get it there. And there you have it. Make sure you keep your eyes peeled off for part two where we're going to paint this Luigi up. And in the meantime, be sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video so I know where to make more videos just like this one. So thanks for watching and I will see you soon.